What's up guys, Static here, and um, as many of you might know, uh, I just today filmed the uh, the Race for Wall, where myself, Etho, Doc M, and Joker went up against Ko, Avidya, uh, B00, and Good. and um, yeah, filming that challenge has kind of put me in the mood to do challenges, and I saw this one on the, um, on the forums, and it seemed to be quite popular, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. Now, basically, as you can see, uh, we spawn on this teeny tiny little island with a small chest full of goodies and a single tree. Uh, now, the rules for the challenge are that we're not allowed to, obviously, use any cheats or anything like that. Not allowed to move off the island, so go exploring or anything. Um, and there's a bunch of challenges that we need to complete. Now, I'm going to quickly chuck those up onto the screen for you now. Um, so, if you'd like to know what I'm trying to accomplish... Yeah, pause that screen there and have a quick read through. It's 20 of those goals in total. Now, um, I'm not going to set myself a time limit like I normally would uh, for these challenge maps. Um, oh, not challenge maps, but uh, the challenges. Um, actually, I might get some wood. Uh, some dirt, sorry. Um, yeah, like normally I'd set myself a time limit of like 30 minutes or something like that. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, however, I am going to try and get all of those the objectives done as quickly as I possibly can. I'm expecting it to only take you know, a couple of episodes or so. So yeah, let's let's see how I do. Now, first thing I'm going to do is uh, get a little bit of wood here. Um, and I'm also, I might actually reposition that dirt a little bit. Um... Yeah, I'm also going to try and get a cobblestone generator going nice and quickly. Um, now, just got to see if I can remember how to do this. I think if I put that down there. Um, and I'm also going to make some use of this ice to accomplish one of our goals right off the bat. We now have an infinite water spring. Uh, problem is that I just don't have anywhere to put things, so I'll chuck that lava there for now. Get some water. Sand back, and we have ourselves a cobblestone generator. Now, um, I'm going to use this wood to get a workbench going and make ourselves a crappy pick. Quickly, and unlike usual, I'm not actually going to throw this pick away. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm extremely tempted to. Uh, is that safe? Yeah, that's safe. Um, you guys know how much I hate uh, wooden picks, but I think it's... This map, I kind of need to be really careful with my resources, so... I will end up keeping this pick on me, but I do need to get a little bit of stone going kind of quickly. Um, but, how much wood do I have? I should have plenty. Um, once I chop off the top of that tree, I'll have some saplings as well. Um, so I'll make myself this one luxury. Uh, it's Great, nice, fast production now, finally. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit of um, stone going. Uh, it's going to be kind of boring, so I'm going to speed this part up. But I'll be back in a moment, guys. There we go, I think uh, just over a stack will be more than enough for now. Uh, we can quickly get one of our other objectives out of the way, make ourselves a furnace, which we'll need for um, some of the other goals later on. I'm also going to uh, make myself an axe. Just uh, Normally you wouldn't necessarily need this, you could chop down the, uh, the tree just with your fist, but since one of my own personal goals is to make this about as quick as I possibly can, uh, I'm going to want to use the um, the axe. Okay. Oh, yeah, 
I think one of my main problems is just trying to find the space to do things. Um, uh, maybe if I just extend this out one more. I don't want to lose those saplings, uh, just in case. I know sometimes the trees are a little bit stingy and you get almost none, so that'll do. Don't really mind about that wood at the moment. That'll be safe. It's the... Uh, saplings that I'm worried about. I might just start pruning the edge of this tree really quick so I don't miss out on any little saplings. Just make sure I'm not going to accidentally fall off something. I've got a pretty crap keyboard so um, every now and then when I'm holding down shift it'll decide it doesn't want me to sneak anymore and I end up falling into lava or something like that so just got to be really careful around edges. Almost done. Alright, now I'm going to do something that uh, you guys have probably never seen me do, and I know a lot of people have been asking for it. I'm actually going to make... Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to make a little bit of charcoal. Just one piece for now, I think. And I'm going to continue extending this platform a little bit more, not too much, because uh, it's going to. I, I do know, don't need, do need to extend the island, but um, I think it's going to be a lot easier to extend it from uh, beneath and mine this top layer down. Uh, well, that was an interesting place to end up. Let's just get a little bit more wood really quickly before someone starts screaming at me that I'm wasting wood in that furnace. Now definitely guys, if you do get a chance, give one of these challenges a shot. Um, you'd be surprised how entertaining something as simple as this can be. Um, and especially, like, try and... Um, I, I get a lot of people asking me you know, how they can grow their channel. And one of the things I'd suggest, and I did suggest in my um, YouTube channel uh, advice video a while ago, is um, keep an eye out for hot topics in the community. Um, and I doing here? Um, well, that'll do for now. Um, yeah, try and keep an eye out for hot topics in the community, and if you hear of any, try and um, try and jump on that as quickly as you can. Uh, something like this. Uh, the, the map is quite popular at the moment, so I'd be saying it might be a good idea to uh, give something like this a shot. It might end up uh, getting you quite a few views. So, and like I said, it'll be a lot of fun. So, yeah, definitely give it a shot. Okay. Um, I am going to place this sand right there for now. And I'm going to make myself a cactus farm. Okay, so we've got ourselves a reed farm going, a cactus farm. Uh, we're also supposed to make a wheat farm, but we don't have any seeds. And I think it's been changed so you can't get seeds from hoeing the ground anymore. So I'm not sure that one's actually going to be possible unless I happen to find a hidden chest somewhere. But that's okay. Now... I gotta be really careful with that. Uh, the double tap. I just about sprinted myself off the edge of the the island. Now, as I said, I do want to extend this island a little bit, so we'll do that like this. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, this is very precarious. Uh, I can probably remove that water block now, actually, make this a little bit easier. Alright. 
Now, it says in the goals that I need to expand the island, but it doesn't actually say by how much. Uh, although it does say I need to build a house, so I'd assume that I should probably, um, yeah, just be mindful of where I'm digging. Like, that probably wasn't the best place to dig, but easily fixed. Or broken several times. There we go. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm going to need to extend this island out big enough at least for me to make a house. So, um, hmm. I'm thinking I might start transferring all of this stuff down here, actually. Um, so I'll get my coal and wood. I'll just keep my fingers crossed that I don't lose any of this stuff over the edge because I don't plan on going diving in after it. Yeah, so that wheat farm's going to be a little bit of a you know, tricky one. I mean, it was the map was made for the um for the 1.8 and 1.9 updates, I believe, so... I have no idea where they were expecting me to get wheat from. I'm, if it's if it's possible, I'll figure it out. Don't, don't tell me in the comments, guys. Um, I've just got no idea where they expect me to get it from. Okay. Um, that's not going to work. That was a silly idea. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Also, a lot of the, the goals are a little bit ambiguous. Like, um, you know, make a make a cactus farm. Technically, this was a cactus farm, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to consider as having the goals achieved. So that's right. We'll we'll set our own rules, I guess. So. Uh, you let me know in the comments, guys, whether you think I succeeded in making a cactus farm and a sugarcane farm. If not, let me know what you'd consider as a success. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah, what you'd consider as a success. Oh, stop losing dirt over the edge. I, I, I know someone's just going to go right off at me for... Losing all that dirt over the edge, and I know I know exactly who it's going to be, and I'm pretty sure he knows who he is as well. So I'm waiting for it. Okay, so there's our infinite source back. Uh, we'll also take this cobblestone block, waste not, what not. If I can, there we go. And take that. Now the sand we are going to need. And I don't want to have that fall off the edge of the map. But other than that, we can start filling this thing in. By, and by that I mean the, uh, the infinite water source, of course. Okay, so now that there's nothing up here that we... Uh, worried about knocking off or whatnot. I'm gonna set up our base camp back down here. I might put the chest on the outside since I can place the workbench under this dirt here. Still have it work. Means less effort for me. And just to make the job a little bit easier, I'll make myself a stone shovel as well. Now, I did actually see some bedrock. Um, yeah, there we go. Bedrock in the island. So, I'm hoping that maybe, you know, fingers crossed, uh, there's a chest under here somewhere. There's some buried treasure, and that might have uh, our wheat seeds in it. I know, I know. I'm um, ever the optimist, but... 
Someone's got to be. Okay. Now I want to make that cobblestone generator again. Just trying to think of the easiest, most compact way to do it. really no easy compact way to do this anymore. I guess like that should work. Um, uh, not like that, sorry. Like that. Yep, that's what I wanted. I think. No, other way, other way. I'll get there in the end. Um, okay, just like that. Now there's a small chance that I'll fall down that hole, but hopefully that water will save me. It sort of acts as a, a ladder up as well, just in case I fall down. It's not an instant game over. Now I should probably replace that with cobble as well, just so I don't accidentally mine out that dirt and set myself on fire. I've died like that far too many times in previous LP episodes, so... A little bit more. Okay, pulling Indiana Jones here. I don't really mind too much about... Ah, oh, got it anyway, awesome. Yeah, I was going to say I don't mind too much about losing that one piece of cobble, but it's nice to have it. Okay, now every piece of dirt is valuable, and I want to get this one back if I can manage. Oh wow, that's really slow. So I can get some air. Yeah, how's that for skills? Just didn't want to mine it out from above and risk losing that. Same thing here. Oh, oh well, I lost that one anyway. And replace it with something renewable. And a lot hard, harder to break, so a lot more difficult to screw up. But I'm sure I'll be able to find a way. <laughs> uh, okay. So we'll just get the rest of our dirt here. Um, I don't know if the spawning was changed. I'm pretty sure it was changed in 1.8. I don't think we need grass anymore. But I will leave one grass block there just in case. Oh, you know, that, that dirt can stay there. That's okay. Uh, it's not looking like we get that chest I was hoping for either, so I'm at this stage, I'm thinking the wheat farm is not possible. Hmm. I'm starting to get hungry, so I might have to make some food shortly. And um, yeah, I'm not not too sure about this challenge, guys. So let me know in the comments whether you find this entertaining or not. Um, if you guys don't find this first episode entertaining, then I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll probably just do this in my own time. But um, yeah, if you, if you guys want to see more episodes, see me complete the challenge in like two or three episodes, let me know. And uh, yeah, we will do. Okay, so I want to get some of these um, farms back up and running just so I feel like I've accomplished something. So I might do them. Um, maybe here, just like that. So I got some adjoining, some land adjoining the water there, um, which we need for that. Hmm.
I want to put the cactus somewhere where I'm not going to stick myself with it. So, might. That's oh, not going to. Not going to work there. Oh, I keep running out of cobble. Okay, um, might stick the cactus right here. And now that I think. You need sand for that, Sean. Now that I think about it as well, I should probably start putting away some of the stuff that I don't actually need right at the moment. I'll keep that on me. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this coal to... Actually, I might make another tree really quickly before we do that. Um, just so I don't waste any of that charcoal. Uh, so I've got plenty of dirt, which is great. We'll expand this out a little bit, and eventually this will all turn into grass. Thanks to that one grass block we left there. Yeah, I want to see if I can try and get this whole challenge finished within the one episode. Um, Pretty sure we're on around about 15 to 20 minutes at the moment. Um, so I think if we can get this finished in the next 10 minutes, that would be ideal. Okay, that should be enough room to grow myself a tree. I'll plant it here so it's nice and close, not too far, uh, not too close to those edges. I knew what I meant to say. Okay, and again, try and get all these saplings. Eventually we're going to have so many saplings that it's not really going to matter, but... Like I said, I know that the trees... Ah, oh, crap, we just lost one over the edge. Should probably... Oh, there's one at least, so... We've at least broken even. Be nice to make it... Really? Okay, that was a little bit stingy. I knew, I'd go I, knew, I knew they'd gotten stingy, but I didn't think it was that bad. Um, okay, so... That'll make us some more charcoal, which we can then turn into even more charcoal. We're running really low on bone meal. And we're about halfway through the day, so what I might do... Um, I don't want to use too much of my dirt. So again, I'm going to sit here and mine some cobble. Uh, this time, I think I'll just do a quick cut. And I'll be back once I've mined what I think is enough cobble. And yeah, I'll explain uh, what I'm planning. See you soon, guys. Okay, so I think that'll just about do. Uh, I did have to make another stone pick while I was doing that. Uh, I know I've still got the uh, the wooden one in my inventory. I just can't bring myself to use the thing yet. I'll, I think I'll keep it as like a, a bit of an emergency because I know I'm not going to actually use it unless it's an emergency. Now, I'm also... Like I said, I'm still running really low on food. Um, so I'm going to have to get something sorted pretty shortly. So, uh, what I was planning, um, which is what we're going to do now, is we need to make a platform 24 blocks away. Um, so, so that's 64, so if I build out to 40 cobblestone blocks left, that should be 24 blocks away if I've done my math correctly, which I haven't slept yet, so um, I've probably made a huge mistake, but that's okay. And once we're out here, we're going to make ourselves a platform to spawn mobs. Okay, so we've still got 60 blocks to do that. So I could make it uh, 5 by 3. That's way bigger than 5 by 3 already. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not going to be symmetrical, but... Oh, sorry, we had 60, so we can do a double that. One, two, 
three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. I have I have this really strange feeling that I've probably done my maths completely wrong. But yeah, so once we get this um once we get this up and running, it's gonna be a little bit dangerous since um I don't have a oops. Ah uh, that's a big screw up. Um yeah, I don't have any don't have a bow or anything like that because I, I I do have string but uh, for one I got no flint so I can't make any arrows and I'm going to be using the bow for something else here in a minute now just got to be quick I'm hoping that lava back at my base is going to stop any mobs from spawning and yeah. Okay, yeah, my maths was way off. Okay, I might... Um, I got sticks on me. I'm going to steal one of these pieces of coal and make four torches. Nice and quick. And... Oh, spiders spawned there already. Um, just make sure this... Okay, I'm going to need another piece. But you don't realise how quickly you go through torches unless you limit yourself like this. Now, oh wow, that's really effective at the moment, actually. Get off my spawning pad. Might actually um, try and kill him and get that rotten flesh just in case I get desperate for food. I mean, it's not the best, but um, yeah, it's better than losing this challenge because you've starved to death, so it will do. Okay. And now, this uh, ramp here is actually quite safe. There's no chance of mobs spawning there since... Uh, maybe further up that way, but since uh, I'll be more than 24 blocks away at all times. So I'm just going to get the stone I need to fill in that little gap in my maths ability. And that will be another one of our challenges down. Okay, let's go fill in that hole. Again, I don't think I brought enough. Yeah, I'm going to be just shy by one block. I don't trust myself out on that ledge. Collecting those ones, so I'll uh, tidy up this area a little bit. Oh, I should really, yeah, trim that, otherwise it's going to keep cutting the cactus. Alright. Yeah, the great thing is because there's um, nowhere else around here for mobs to spawn, our mob system here is going to be extremely efficient. Um, but that being said, I don't want to get ambushed. So, and I've made that on the wrong side. I'm going to make a door on the front here. I mean, I know I don't have walls or anything, but... Um, at the very least, that'll stop the mobs from advancing up to our base and sniping us when we're least expecting it. I should probably stop running everywhere because I'm starting to get quite hungry, but and wood doesn't magically turn itself into a door. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of trying to get this all done as quickly as I can, so I'm trying to be really quick about it all. Yeah, that won't be able to get around that. So we'll quickly take out our torches, and we'll head back to our base, make ourselves a sword, wait for a skeleton to spawn, and then come back and kick his ass. 
And I don't think we'll have to wait too long, to be honest. Uh, we're going to need to make a tree while we're here, though. I'm going to make that on... Um... No, that's too close to the lava. There will do. Now I'm going to learn from my mistake and trim this tree first. Just so I don't lose any saplings over the edge. Just nice and quickly. Don't want to do any uh, landscape gardening or anything. Just get done what needs to be done. And we've got heaps of mobs spawning over there, which is great. We just want to make sure that... Actually, oh, I've got an idea. Hopefully this rain will stop, but I do have an idea. But I have not got a single sapling yet from this tree. Did not get a single sapling at all. Maybe it's been changed so that you need to actually wait for this stuff to spawn, uh, to, for it to despawn by itself. Okay. So my plan is that the skeletons will burn and zombies will burn to death in the sun, assuming that this rain stops once I've slept. Um, my worry was that uh, when we went over there to kill the skeletons, one of the skeletons would accidentally hit a creeper and destroy what we'd just done. So just thought I'd safeguard against that really quickly. Oops. Get a little bit of cobble. And then we'll go and collect our bones. Assuming something actually dropped. Which, knowing my luck, we probably didn't get a thing. Either that or we just got a whole heap of arrows, which we don't actually need. Better way because that's quite valuable. Same with the wood, torches, dirt, and I'll, yeah, I'll keep that as like an emergency ration. Awesome, we got bones and quite a few arrows, bit of meat. It's not a bad haul actually. Alright, we can't sprint anymore, so that's pro <laughs> probably for the best, actually. Now, what do we want to do? Um, still got a couple of farms that I need to make. So I need more cobble. It's amazing how quickly you go through that stuff. Eventually I will upgrade this cobble generator to uh, in, into my uh, smooth stone generator, uh, which you might have just seen a tutorial for in the past couple of days. The only reason I haven't already is that uh, this one's just a lot quicker to make, whereas the uh, smooth stone generator is a lot more efficient in general, I think. Okay. Just trying to think how to do this. Again with the uh, water scaffolding, I think. Just get under there. Place a little platform. Too easy. Okay, so yeah, what I'm doing now is um, I'm trying to get our pumpkin farm and melon farm up and running. Uh, the reason for that is quite simple. Melons are probably going to be the easiest way for me to get food. And also, you'll note that they're actually on our list of goals. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that done as soon as I can. Uh, it's going to be a pain. Whoa, what the hell happened there? That's really strange. 
Okay, maybe it's actually... I, I thought this might have just been like a huge ocean. It's just a, a long way down, but I think it is actually a void. Okay. Now, I haven't done too much melon farming or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure the water will still hydrate blocks up to nine blocks away. So... I think... Fingers crossed this works, otherwise I'll have wasted some seeds. Yeah, it's working. Cool. And just to improve that efficiency, efficiency a little bit. I should hope that one. That one. And use some of our newfound bone meal. And we are cooking with gas. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little challenge. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the rest of the challenges or the, uh, the goals finished within the next episode. Um, if there's anything else you can think of uh, as far as challenges go, feel free to suggest something in the comments. Um, and so long as it's possible and I think it's entertaining, I might try that in the next episode. We might add that to our list since we've accomplished a lot uh, today. And before I finish up, I've also just realized I actually know how to grow the wheat. Can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. But yeah, I, I got there in the end. I'd like to quickly do this one. So that's one more we can tick off our list. Alright guys, so as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. If you did, please do leave a thumbs up and possibly even a favourite. They do help a lot more than you uh, might think. But again, I'm not twisting anybody's arm, so only if you enjoyed the video. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.